Hey tech fans, this is Kelly Basie and I'm with Emerald Resource Group and here's another week of the Gem Factor. Wait for it. Gems, Gem Factor. Okay, so what is a Gem Factor? Well, if this is your first week, congratulations. It's the Gem Factor <laughs> and we talk about one job, one job every week and we rank it on a scale of one to 10 for gems and give you a final score of how it relates to other jobs out there, especially within the markets that we work for. So, you know, we get honest with you. We tell you about compensation. We tell you about some of the perks. We tell you about the tech stack. And so you have a really good idea whether or not you're gonna quit your job for this job. And believe me, there's people that call us right after these, you know, videos and say, sign me up. How can I get in? How can I interview? So you don't want to miss it because we're going to go through a new job this week. And again, you might want to quit your job for this job. So let's get to it. What's this week's job? A SOA developer. All right. So tech stack wise, you know, this one is actually kind of flexible. So if you have Java or C sharp, great. Uh, they'll take either one. But the important thing is having more of the MVC. So you can have it on the MVC spring side or MVC with Razor. Obviously one goes with Java, one more with C Sharp. So having that service oriented architecture, that SOA, that's gonna be part of the key factor. Also having JavaScript. So JavaScript and maybe some more of those libraries that are included. You know, you hear of Angular, you hear of Knockout. There's way more in the library of JavaScript. But the important thing would be to have experience using the tools to create automation. And so if you've worked in process integration and you've been taking current tools and trying to make things better to help, you know, make the process more efficient, well, this is a great transition for you because there's a lot to do here on that side. Uh, if you haven't had that exposure yet you want to or you've been working with JavaScript and, and just trying to get into more of that, this is also a great opportunity for you. And then last but not least, you have to have exposure to SQL Server. Uh, I mean, you kind of learn it in coding school or college or wherever you've learned coding. So this is just going to be building upon that. And then, you know, they'd like to see a bachelor's degree, but not required, which is great because I know some of you guys that maybe don't have a specific degree in computer science, you have a lot of experience to bring. Uh, so bachelor's degree or an associate's or, or something incomparable, some sort of training. And really, they're not looking for too much years of experience as it relates to professional. So at least one year with a bachelor's. And if you don't have a degree or if you have an associate's or something, just a couple years, this is really something that you'll be coming on to learn a lot on the job. So they're open to that. And, uh, you know, really somebody tech stack wise, trainable, teachable, you know, you name it, this is a great role for that. So all that being said, what do we rank this? Well, out of 10, we give it a 10. 10 out of 10 for tech stack because the amount that you're gonna be learning and things that you could be bringing on is just only really open. So uh, 10 out of 10, that's a strong gem. So next, we move to salary. So salary wise, we're starting at 50K base. If you have a little bit more experience, they'll bring you on a little bit higher. But again, they're not looking for somebody with you know, seven, 10 years of coding experience. They really want somebody that's sort of fresh on the side. Uh, bonuses, bonuses, I said it with an S, two of them, yes, uh, plural. So they don't just have an end of year bonus, they actually have incremental bonuses throughout the year. So if you start off at 50K or maybe 45 or 55, whatever, and uh, you come on board, you start working hard, you get paid incremental bonuses throughout the years to come. Sign me up. And uh, top of the line benefits, especially within the healthcare side. I mean, you pretty much pay zero to nothing for that. So I think you have like minimal that comes out of your paycheck every month, which again, sign me up. In this day and age, it's, oh, it's always important depending on where you are in your state of life or if you're supporting the family, who wouldn't want that? And then uh, lastly, a couple other perks that many people don't think about, but cell phone. This company will pay for your cell phone. Now, you hear the negative side of that. Wow, that means they probably want to overwhelm your cell phone and want you on call all the time. Not really. <laughs> Not really. I mean, 
maybe an occasional on call or whatever, but this company understands what it means to be competitive in the market and to make sure they keep you there. And they're gonna offer things that not a lot of companies don't. So they'll pay for your cell phone and the bill every month. Sounds pretty good to me. Also no parking, I always just throw that in there. That's all part of money, folks. That's like money in your pocket that you don't have to pay for parking wise, dollar, dollar per minute or getting worried about getting towed downtown. No, this, there's no parking, it's free parking here. So no, you have to park to get there, but no fee for parking, get it? Okay, so what do we rank this? Well, I rank this actually a 10 out of 10 as well. So for more of a junior role with the bonus potential and the awesome benefits, 10 out of 10. Oh, Stingray Tech, is that a gem? Of course it is, it's a video gem, people. Have you heard of them? Well, if you've been watching, you have, but if you haven't, Stingray Tech, they are the video experts. They're the, they're the awesome team that puts on this production week after week, and uh, if you need somebody like this, here's your ticket, stingraytech.com. They're great to work with. They understand, you know, maybe your mission. They understand our mission of, of kind of communicating the best roles out there and making sure it goes to the right audience. They'll help you with yours. Whatever the case may be, they'll help. Just talk to them, stingraytech.com. Again, truly are the video experts. All right, we move back to the gem factor. So this gem is growth. So what does it look like from a industry perspective, from a company perspective of growth, and also within your role? Well, this company been around for about 15 years and has had truly reputable, reputable growth. Numerous expansions, they've outgrown their headquarters actually, which, wow, that's a good problem to have. Uh, they're also an IT company, so <laughs> granted, they're always growing. <laughs> their industry is just ever-changing and uh, they really came on at the, kind of like the Y2K side where IT boomed and um, actually took advantage of some of the e-commerce side. So uh, because of that, not only have they grown a lot nationally, they actually have a large presence internationally. And with companies that are, you know, their clients are mom and pop, to, um, Fortune 50 or less, higher, like Fortune 10. So you should really, again, if you haven't picked up your phone to try to call us and figure out how to apply or something, you should consider it because this is a great company to work for. Uh, because they're growing so much, well, within one year, your role and the company and the team could look a lot different. After one year, I mean, you could be really kind of paving your own path. As long as you're eager and coachable and kind of malleable to the changes, you could really experience a ton of growth on your career side. So again, I give this one a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Three gems in a row, tens, that's rare. Okay, keep watching. More to come, perks. So this gem, well, you know, what about what, like some more enticement to wanna to try to quit your job? Well, culture is everything here. And really, um, they have people that have come from Fortune 500s or less to, to entrepreneurs that have started. And they're local and some of them are not even from here, honestly. And they have moved their families Trust me, I know, because I've helped recruit for this company for quite a while. We've literally helped move families for this company. They have happy hours. They have lunch events. They have holiday parties. They like to really foster the company's culture and just everybody get to know one another. And especially when a company's growing so much, it changes a lot. There's new people on, you know, quite frequently. And so they're all encouraging. They all get... A lot of them that have been there from the beginning understand where it's come and just love seeing the company boom. Uh, again, I'm gonna bring back that more money aspect of <laughs> bonuses, people, bonuses. So let's say you start at 50K. I mean, you have the potential of probably putting in a few extra thousands more throughout the year. Um, and it's gonna depend on the company's performance and your team's performance. But again, it could happen as frequently as quarterly. So why wouldn't that be a perk? I don't know. Um, also, the ability to play with technology. Okay, so MongoDB, Redis, JMeter, JUnit, um, Makito, uh, Tomato, Tomato. I don't know, <laughs> all sorts of cool tech out there. More to come. Uh, they have a great 
sort of mentality. If you've used it before and you think it's really successful in certain processes, bring it up, integrate it. You know, they have the budget to do that. So perk from an IT standpoint, pretty huge. So with that being said, I actually give this a nine out of 10. Say the only reason I wouldn't give this a nine out of 10, they actually don't allow for work from home very frequently unless it's like a serious emergency, which I think is a good thing because it makes everybody kind of be there and actually collaborate and work and not go to grocery shop for two hours when you're supposed to be working from home. So you're getting, you're being very productive for this team, you know, but you know, some companies actually have some work from home policies. So, you know, if we give it a nine out of 10, can't have everything, but that's a strong rating. Emerald RG, we pause again for just a little bit more advertising and this time, it's, well, for us, Emerald Resource Group. So if you haven't figured it out, we are a recruiting firm and we recruit just mainly for IT. And our markets are Cleveland and Columbus and some Cincinnati and even some Raleigh, North Carolina. So we are in the IT hubs. Uh, actually, these locations were ranked for the top 25 places, cities to work um, within the United States. So pat on our backs for all of those cities making the top 25 list brought to you by Glassdoor. But anyways, <laughs> going back to that, if you like what you hear so far and you haven't yet applied, you know, you should do so. And actually, let me show you the recruiter who's working on this right now. Um, oh, <laughs> she's my twin. Me and my twin. No, that's actually me, um, Kelly, Kelly Basie. And I'm working on this role. So normally we feature different recruiters throughout the office that are working on these. Well, this week happens to be mine, hence why I'm a little bit more partial, I think. And no, I'm being fair at the rankings, I promise you. But really, truly, it's a great company. You should quit your job. No, but email me, email me, um, kelly at emeraldresourcegroup.com if you like what you hear, or go to our website, search out some more jobs, emeraldresourcegroup.com, go to the career search function. You can search by title, search by technology, you name it, search by recruiter even, and you can find more jobs. And um, you can tweet us at EmeraldRG or find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, blah, 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 blah. You get it. Just go, go see more, okay? All right, Kelly, yeah, we should get back to the gems, right? Yeah, she says so too. All right, so next, flexibility-wise. So this, you know, what about this? Yeah, do you have to have a little bit of variety in your day? Do you need it? Do you? Do you have to allow for it? Well, yeah, let's talk about this. So you actually have the chance to give a lot of input and a lot of input on how things should be improved. So the bulk of this role is really a lot of the integration side and how do we smooth those processes out and again, automate them and use some cool tools to do that. You get to kind of be a lead input now. You don't get that in a lot. Um, the fact that managers and team leads will give you the ability, flexibility to do so is pretty cool. Uh, every day looks different. Like I said, it's a smaller company that's really growing faster and uh, because of, they really put their customers first. So if a customer calls and there's an issue, scrap what you're working on and you gotta fix that issue. That's how this company's gotten successful. That's how they make their money. You have to be flexible to if an emergency comes up. Um, it really, uh, every day can kind of take you anywhere, honestly. So. Um, at least that's what I've heard from people there. Haven't quite coded there yet, but maybe one day in life I'll attempt to pretend like I know what I'm doing there. But I've heard it's great. I've heard the variety is great. And, um, you know, some of the flex time is there. So, you know, if you have a doctor's appointment in the morning, you can come in a little bit later, or if you need to step out for a little bit, whatever, they're there. Um, but again, they want you to be on site. They don't want you to be working from home and la la land, they want, I mean, it's hands on. You're maybe with this team in the morning and going to this team in the afternoon or I popping on a conference call with some customers. You gotta be there. So your flexibility from a schedule wise, when you're at work, you need to be working. Make sense? So because of that, eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 for flexibility. Um, it takes the right sort of person, you know, who's open and willing to change to be able to really be successful here. So, that we move on to coolness. Coolness is our last gem. And all right, what's really cool and unique about working at this company? Well, they are headquartered here in Northeast Ohio. Their industry 
e-commerce, security, tech, everything fun. Well, they're award winners, and their award winners recognized worldwide for this, and recent, recent awards as well. So that's a cool thing. North America, Europe, and Asia, or not light. North America, Europe, and Africa. Africa, um, hmm, they're award winners for what they're doing there. So pretty unique. Uh, growing in multiples of 10. So they're looking at adding about 30 to 40 new people this year alone. And again, for a smaller company, around the 100-ish or so mark, adding that many people this year is significant growth, which is really cool. And uh, because tech is the budget, you know, like there's not a whole lot of like room, tech and probably sales, it's not other sort of priorities ahead. Really, the sky is the limit. I mean, there's really smart people here really smart people that have done amazing things and they've done it because their leadership is for them just being creative and growing and all that so uh your role again if you come on today tomorrow tomorrow um once you call me and then i get you in an interview and blah 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 tomorrow uh you could look like you could be leading a team in a few years i mean you could be doing a completely different role next year who knows but the sky's the limit here. It truly is. And uh, for that, we give this a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for coolness factor. I mean, pretty darn good. So the moment that we always wait for, and if you haven't seen it before, get ready, folks. Gem ranking, 56 out of 60. That is one high ranking. That is one strong ranking. So what do you do from here? Well, you apply. You apply, you go to our website, emeraldresourcegroup.com, you go to the career search function, you look up SOA developer, Java, C Sharp, whatever, whatever way it takes to get to that. Or you email me directly, Kelly with a Y at emeraldresourcegroup.com. Uh, you can call me, call me directly, 440-627-6570. Okay, that's one. If you caught it, just email me. Okay arrange a call with you. Um, or if this isn't for you, I appreciate people that are honest with themselves and know that this isn't for them, but they know of somebody, that's your duty. Retweet, post it, email it, share it with somebody who it is a better fit for. Because guarantee within the next few weeks of watching more of these, a role will come up that you'll be interested in because we cover all sorts of IT. So do us a favor, do your friend a favor, pass on the word. You just never know what'll come from it. So hopefully you enjoyed this week's Gem Factor. Again, I'm Kelly Basie. This is Emerald Resource Group's Gem Factor. We'll be back next week. Have a great one, guys.